Namaste and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. In yet another video, we are going to discuss on a very important topic and it's called Computer Assisted Semen Analysis, also fondly called as CASA. So this video is going to be, you know, uh, you know, an in-depth video on computer assisted semen analysis, you know, on its pitfalls, its uh, perceived advantages, its disadvantages. And I'm going to put, tell you everything under the sun about computer assisted semen analysis because today what's basically happening is, you know, in large metros, uh, you know, the manual method of semen analysis is slowly being replaced by a computerized and automated method of semen analysis or sperm testing for men who have male fertility problems. And uh, the sad thing today and the very, very sad thing to note, uh, you know, or to bear in mind is that the computer assisted semen analysis is also called as CASA. You know, you can look at the image on the right, you know, that's how a CASA system basically looks at, right? It's completely automated. You just have to uh, load a sample on the slide, put it under the instrument and you get a readout of your sperm concentration, motility, morphology, various motility parameters, uh, kinematic parameters including the semen volume and semen volume as well as you know the DNA fragmentation index course. So you get a battery of information, uh, you know, in a in a ten page report. But the joke here is that large uh, the information that a computer assisted semen analysis or a computerized semen testing report gives you, uh, you know, it's not you know it's not the, the information it gives is not actually required, you know, because it's not clinically useful, you know, as compared to the normal manual method of semen, you know, analysis or sperm testing. So you get a battery of additional information like sperm kinematic parameters, like you get the sperm's curvilinear velocity, which is also called as the VCL, you get the VSL, you get the amplitude of lateral head displacement, ALH, AMH, whatever. You get a lot of information, but these are not clinically useful parameters or clinically, this is not clinically useful information that, you know, we doctors can use to treat a patient who has low sperm count or low sperm outlet. So also what's very important to bear in mind is that with respect to CASA or Computer Assisted Semen Analysis, the World Health Organization 2010 manual clearly says that the manual sperm analysis or a manual semen analysis is better and it should be the recommended test of choice with respect to male fertility evaluation. So the WHO has made it very clear that not to you know technically use a CASA system because CASA systems per se have numerous faults. Now, the most important fault, and I'm going to tell you this, you look at the image on the right. This particular, if you look at the image on the right, there are, in a computer assisted semen analysis, the software, you know, if there are two, if under the microscopic field, when you do a manual semen analysis, you, the, the technician looks under the microscope, he counts 400 fields and then takes an average value of the sperm concentration. But on a CASA system, the CASA system only looks at one particular microscopic field, at least most CASA systems only look at one particular microscopic field. And what basically happens is when the when two sperms are adjacent to each other, as you can see on the image on the right, when two heads of two sperms are adjacent to each other, that is actually scored as one head by the system. So that's a major error because what's going to happen is your sperm count may be normal, but the CASA system will say that your sperm count is low. We have seen this in our clinical practice over the better part of five years. In my clinical practice, I've seen many patients who come with abnormal computer assisted semen analysis report. They would have spent 3000 rupees or 2500 rupees, which is the going rate these days for CASA, CASA based semen tests outside. The lab would give them a report stating your count is low or the motility is low or the morphology is abnormal sperm morphology. And when we come back and do a manual semen testing here, as per the WHO recommended guidelines, we find everything to be normal. So. This is a major problem with CASA systems, at least most CASA systems. That's one issue. The second major issue that we see with CASA systems is something called as trajectory truncation. So basically what happens is when sperm motility, when there are a lot of sperm to zoa in one particular microscopic field and too many sperms are you know, crossing one another rapidly and randomly, the system cannot capture all those sperms properly and there's an underestimation of sperm motility. So sometimes the motility values given by the CASA system will be very, very different from that, that what a manual analysis will give. So there's a big difference. It's called trajectory truncation. That's a major system error. So not just that, with computer assisted semen analysis, when the sperm count of the man becomes very low, so at counts that are say less than 3 million, less than 2 million, less than 1 million, basically what happens is you get a lot of error in the system in terms of motility estimate, morphology estimate, and even count estimate becomes very, very inaccurate. The worst and the biggest pitfall of computer assisted semen analysis is that computer assisted semen analysis cannot technically, you know, give an accurate report for azoospermia. So if a man has no sperm in the semen, it cannot, you know, definitely tell that no in that particular field there will be no sperm. So the report will come as azoospermia. But 
if you look at two or three other fields, there may be one or two sperms over there. In that case, the man is said to be should be diagnosed with severe oligospermia, not azospermia. But the system will give that there are no sperm in the semen at all. But when you do a manual semen test, maybe the next couple of fields, you know, when the technician is manually moving the slide, glass slide out there and seeing the other fields, he may see sperms in the other fields. And so there's a gross, there's a big difference medically and clinically between azospermia and severe oligospermia. So computer assisted semen also fails in these specific instances. There are again numerous pitfalls of Numerous other pitfalls associated with computer assisted semen analysis. One, it is definitely more expensive. The instrument cost itself is about 7 to 10 lakh rupees. So the patients are charged around 2,500 to 3,000 rupees. It gives a lot of junk values, which are more for research interest rather than clinical utility. You don't need, you don't even need sperm DNA fragmentation. You don't need sperm agonomatic parameters. All you need is sperm concentration, progressive motility, total motility and sperm morphology. That's all you require along with the semen volume. So you get a lot of junk values that are not required. And then like I said, these pitfalls. Counts are usually not estimated correctly. Motility tracking is still poor. The software is not advanced in most CASA systems. Apart from that, like I said, when the counts become very, very low, especially in men with azospermia, a definitive diagnosis of azospermia cannot, be, cannot ever be made with CASA systems. And that's a given. And the WHO 2010 Androgy Laboratory Deadline Virus clearly says please go with a manual semen analysis and don't go with a CASA based system. So I hope you found this useful and if you know if you're going for a semen test, your gynecologist or your androgist or sexologist, whoever you're meeting, whoever you're meeting for a fertility evaluation, if they if they give you a semen analysis and to which your lab you're going, please ask the lab fellows for a manual semen analysis. Because you have to know the type of testing that you're that they're going to do on your semen because ultimately What's going to happen if you get a wrong report? You're going to go doctor to doctor, you're going to go hospital to hospital and you'll be treated for a disease that you don't even have. So stop wasting your money, stop wasting your effort. Ask the lab whether they're doing a manual semen analysis as per WHO 2010 laboratory guideline values or are they doing a computer assisted semen analysis. If they're doing a computer assisted semen analysis and most big labs do SCASA because it saves on time and manpower, please refrain, stay away from the laboratory, visit a fertility clinic, any fertility clinic near you and request for a manual semen analysis. So, I hope you found this useful. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this video with all your friends and loved ones. This is Dr. Shah. I'll see you back soon with another video. Till then, Vanakam, Namaste and see you soon.